All right, now to the weather. Live pictures from our Belleville Sky Cam. The fall colors starting to set in there. Uh, nice bright blue sky and obviously gorgeous lake there. It's been a warm start to fall. Now we are getting a peek at what winter might have in store for us. Yes, yeah, so let's get out to live to Brian Sherman to help explain exactly what's going on out there, Brian. Hey there, Damon and Karen. Good evening, everyone. Wow, we've had a very warm last month to month and a half with a few brief cool downs. We've got another cool down on the way, but winter's knocking on the doorstep. And after a few quiet winters across southeastern Michigan, this one ahead could be a little more on the interesting side of things. As of right now, we're forecasting a La Nina pattern to set up as we go from November into December and into early on 2026. A La Nina is when cooler sea surface temperatures move into the eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean, and that brings much more rain to portions of northern Africa. Now, the last time we saw a La Nina winter across the lower 48 was back in 2023 and 2024. So in a La Nina pattern, the jet stream dives from the upper Midwest down through the Ohio Valley and off the eastern seaboard. Keep in mind the jet stream, that's our storm track, so that puts lower Michigan down into the Ohio Valley and portions of the Missouri Valley in a wetter than average track trend with the drier than average conditions expected from the southwestern United States down through Texas and into the Gulf states, including Florida. Now in a La Nina setup in terms of temperatures with that jet stream right over the Ohio Valley, the warmer than average conditions also down from Texas, the southwestern United States into the southeastern United States and the colder than average conditions in the upper Midwest and into the Pacific Northwest. So for southeastern Michigan, this is what it could look like above average precipitation is possible. Temperatures near or possibly slightly below average and with that storm track going down into the Ohio Valley, that means it could be a much busier winter for lower Michigan and down into the Ohio Valley. We've still got some time to figure out all the details about this. Right now over on clickondetroit.com, I've got a much more in-depth breakdown on our average snowfall that Metro Detroit sees every month as well as some of our earliest and latest snowfall amounts, but with not a lot of snow the last few winters across southeastern Michigan with this La Nina forecast setting up. This may be a much more busier and possibly whiter winter across southeastern Michigan. We'll talk more about that in your forewarned forecast coming up in just a few minutes. For now, reporting live from Waterford in Oakland County, I'm forewarned meteorologist Brian Sherman.